class. This is Mom Says, signing on. This video lecture will talk about solving case scenario with use case diagrams. Let's begin. Assuming this is our case scenario. So we have the state university here and we have here the descriptions that we need to understand so that we could create a use case diagram for this one. As you can see on your screen, here are the conditions. Number one, professors indicate which courses they will teach online. A course catalog can be printed, allow students to select online four courses for upcoming semester. No course may have more than 10 students or less than three students. When the registration is completed, the system sends information to the billing system. Professors can obtain course rosters online and students can add or drop classes online. So these are the conditions that we have to meet. First, we need to understand, read carefully and understand the case scenario or the given scenario. So how do we solve our case scenario here? First, you have to, again, read and understand the case scenario, all this from 1 to 7. Then, you have to identify the possible use cases involved. So, let's take for example, in number 1 here, professors indicate which courses they will teach online. So, it could be the possible use case here. That could be, possible answer is, select course to teach. Before the professors can indicate courses, of course, there should be a path to select course to teach. Now, for our number two here, a course catalog can be printed. So, before a course catalog can be printed, we should have a use case that create course catalog. So, you have now identified two use case now. For case scenario descriptions number 3, 4, 5, and 7, we need to have use case for class registration here since all the descriptions here falls on the process of registration such as allow students to select online four courses no course may have more than 10 students or less when the registration is completed System sends information to the building system. Students can add or drop classes online. Such that. So, that is why we need the use case class registration. Then, for our number 6 here, professors can obtain course roosters online. We need use case request course rooster. So, that is the possible use case we can place in here. And of course, to maintain all information, we need to use, we need to have use cases such as maintain professor information, maintain student information, and maintain course information. So, to complete the use cases based on the given scenario here. From 1 to 7. Next step would be we will place the use case in the oval shape and consider the system boundary of course. Also we need to identify the actors first to our for the label of our statement. You know that the use case diagram uses two symbols such as oval shape and statement. And then, but of course, we have to identify first 
our actors before we can label our statement. So, based on the given scenario here, our possible actors would be the professor, the student, the registrar, and of course the billing system or the information system. So, these are our possible actors for this given scenario. Okay, so after all that, we can now draw our ovals around the functions labels. Of course, you have to consider the system boundary and then you can now draw your statement and then label your statement with the, the so-called actors or what we call as actors here. And then you may now draw the actors and specify the relationship with your use cases to your actors, of course. So following all the steps, especially identifying use cases and actors, this would be our possible solution to the given scenario here. As you see, our actors are, we have here the professor, we have the registrar here, and then the student here in the billing system. And then we distribute the identified use cases we did as part of our first step. Of course, since it is indicated in our scenario that it is the teach, the professor will select course, so you have to place it the use cases under the professor actors you place the select course to teach and then the request course rooster as identified here in our scenario and for our registrar actors we place the use cases such as maintain professor info maintain student info maintain course info and create course catalog and obviously the class re registration will be under our actors such as student and the building system. And this complete the use case diagram as the solution to our case scenario here. This is how are we going to answer a case scenario with a use case diagram. And that ends our discussion. Hope this code inspires you as you develop your programming skills. And so that's it. Watch out for more video lectures. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.